Hi, this is Rhea Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and today we are talking about all things lunar eclipse. Hi, my name is Ruth Teresa with One Inspiring Woman. I'm an intuitive psychic medium here in the Sugarland area. That's just outside of Houston. When I was a little girl, I fell in love with our moon, and ever since, I have been energetically drawn to moon energy. I have studied moonology for quite a while, plus I enjoy teaching others about the different energies of each moon phase. Then combining that energy with our current moon sign, and you will come away with a great understanding of how both these energies will combine to influence each of us in unusual ways. If you like my content, please subscribe, like, and share. That's right. Today we are talking about our total lunar eclipse in the sign of Taurus, November 8th, 2022. I'm going to talk about some more energy that it will be bringing to us. There's so much energy out there and I keep finding new and new, better, better articles everywhere. I'm kind of like, wow, I just can't wait to tell someone else about this. So I'm telling you about it. So really, this is a very um, amazing eclipse. And one of the things is, is only once every 430 years do we have a twin eclipse and we're having it this year, which is kind of like, interesting interesting very interesting so kind of um there was actually a, a, a two total lunar eclipses for this year um the first one was uh, may 16th 2022 and um the sun was at 25 taurus opposite um our full moon 25 of scorpio and these two zodiac signs are opposite each other completely opposite each other um taurus is all about your money your home your apartment kind of like what you call home um your values um where your budget is and how you allot your money um and what's coming up with you scorpio is all about um shared or joint concerns um like marriage, um, mortgages, business partnerships, um, team playing, team groups, all that kind of stuff. And the kind of the gap between these two different approaches is more obvious during the full moon. So you're going to have a lot more like, wow. And then, of course, we have uh, November 8th. Um, to, uh, total lunar eclipse, and that is um, our sun is at the 16 Scorpio, opposite our full moon of 16 uh, Taurus, um, also is conjunct with Uranus at 16 Taurus, aspecting Sirius at 16 Virgo, so we got a lot of energy in play right there, um, and this is kind of all about like um, during our eclipse, kind of like the old-fashioned um, kind of energy will be coming forward. Um, this will be kind of like um, associated with everything that you own, you earn, um, how you deal with things, how you feel judged by others, how you feel unjudged by others, how others feel judged by you. And this is going to be kind of right literally in the middle of the United States midterms. So it's kind of like all of that is going on right at that same time frame as the United States is having their midterms um, election. So this is going to be like, ooh. Um, also kind of like one of the things that um, usually happens during an eclipse is we have a blackout of information. And that's really what kind of like um, an eclipse is, it, is it's blacking out. Um, um, our moon from us like it's completely moving so we can't see it and it clips forward so it's kind of like during this time frame um, we are um, gonna see more redacted um, documents coming out or you know what I'm saying kind of that sort of thing so or things that have been undercover kind of moving forward in a different way um, it's one of those um, you um, will feel this in a lot of ways like when you're talking to someone else you may feel like there's there's something else you should be saying there's something else that you should be telling me and you may even feel this when you're uh, watching the news like there should be more information like I feel like you're withholding from me you're going to feel that a lot during this time frame um and it's just the way it is it's kind of like you'll feel that of kind of like um dealing with finances um uh uh, marital affairs, death, money, um, kind of your bank accounts, kind of like how do you fit into everything else? Um, so it's going to be kind of like, mm, 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 mm. and this will be something that is really interesting for most people because it's like, we're not used to being withheld from. We think most of the time 
like I think everybody's telling me the truth but you'll get that notice that feeling of like oh, something's not quite right here there's something not, I feel like there's more to it and you're gonna be feeling that more and more one of the things I found too was um, there will also be a cover-up um, involving um, Queen Elizabeth I thought this was really interesting and it's because our sun is at 25 Taurus and our full moon is at 25 Scorpio. Um, so it's uh, possible that she will arrange uh, for Charles, uh, the Prince of Wales, to become the Prince Regent um, on this date or around this time frame. Um, but it wouldn't be made public until later on. Um, I also do get energetically that her health is, I don't want to say like failing, but it's one of those, it's not the best and it's continually going down. Um, it's one of those, um, she is going to kind of really be relying on people that may keep this undercover for a period of time. And I don't think they're going to keep it undercover as much as she would hope for them to do this. Um, let's see. Um, there's a lot of things that are coming up because America um, has been like arguing about um, Roe versus Wade and all of this kind of energy. Um, I do feel like that is going to be kind of coming forward even more during this time frame um, because that's just recently, it just happened a couple of months ago. Um, it's going to be kind of like this eclipse energy of things may be leaking out, but it's not going to, you're not going to be like, oh, there's more to this story. Um, so that's going to be something that people are going to be talking talking about or kind of uh, working through. So this is kind of like an interesting energy. Um, but I do feel like a lot of countries are going to be kind of feeling the backlash of kind of the Roe versus Wade ruling being changed. Um, so a lot of parties, a lot of people have been kind of like, I wonder how this is going to affect the world. I do feel like it's going to affect the world in some very amazing ways. So that'll be kind of like an interesting um, energy. So let's pull some angel cards and give us a little bit deeper insight into kind of our twin um um, eclipse energy kind of into our blackout energy and kind of like what does this mean what does this mean for us what is how is this going to affect us um, how is this going to affect our energy so let's go for it here we go this is the first one that's popping forward this is the fourth house about home. And so I get like, this is kind of like making changes to home. And I do feel like there's a lot of financial information in this. It's kind of like, how do we uh, furnish our home? How do we um, co uh, covet the bills? How we deal with things? All of that kind of energy is coming around. So that's going to be a very interesting aspect for most people of how are the bills being set up? Or there may be some truth that comes forward or some energy that comes out into play in that. This one is Aries, and this is all about act. I do feel like um, we are going to, as as people, going to be feeling that energy of people are, are acting differently or keeping things from us. Almost like I feel like people are actively doing this, actively keeping me um, out of the energy and out of what's going on. And I do feel like that's something that a lot of people are feeling right now is that they're feeling that all the truth hasn't come out or everything hasn't come to the light. So it's in the process. Um, this is the third house and this is about communication. And this is the one where I feel like people are going to be stumbling for a while of feeling like um, I want the truth to come out or I want to know the truth or I deserve the truth. And a lot of people are going to be like, mm, not necessarily. Um, secrets are secrets for a reason. Um, retrogrades. This is all about review. Um, and this is a great time. Um, we have just come out of a retrograde. We're about to go back into a Mercury and retrograde. Things are shifting and changing in our communication field. So it's a great time to kind of do review during this eclipse energy in Taurus. It's going to be really great. Um, this one is Mars and it's all about motion. Um, I do feel like Mars has some amazing energy and kind of some amazing energy in keeping in motion. And I will tell you that one of the things that is best to do during eclipse energy is to stay in motion. Keep yourself active as much as you can and kind of help yourself do that. Um, we are going to have lots of changes and a lot of changes are going to be coming in quickly. This one is Midhaven and this is all about the pinnacle. And it's one of those, there's going to be some days that you're like, oh, Gosh, this energy is so high and it may not be the the day of the eclipse it could be the day after the eclipse it could be like wow now it just finally hit me this is dignified this is all about strength 
we have to have the strength to ask for what we deserve. We have to have the strength to kind of really um, ask our leaders to kind of give us the backstory. Um, yes, sometimes there has to be secrets, but sometimes there's no reason for it. And that's when we deserve the full truth. I thank you so much for joining me today. And I know that we'll be talking again soon.